Welcome to this conversation. I'm your host, Neil Peterson, and with me today is my colleague and Adobe expert, Martin Tereniak. Welcome, Martin, and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Neil. It's great to be here. So, Martin, in your role as a solution consultant here at Snow, what are some of the biggest challenges that enterprises have out there regarding their Adobe licensing? I would say that the organizations I meet, they primarily struggle with uh, staying or ensuring that they're uh, continuously optimizing their Adobe entitlements. So basically ensuring that they don't have licenses that are either unused or that are not even assigned to uh, a specific user. The other part is that a lot of users, they request like the all apps suite, which contains a lot of expensive applications. And organizations are also struggling with ensuring that these um, bundles are utilized to the full extent so that the users are not using just one or two of the expensive applications within those suites. Okay, that, that sounds really interesting. I'll, I know I'm, I'm an Adobe user um, of, of many apps and, and a yeah. couple of subscriptions. Yeah. And I guess, I guess from, a, from a user point of view, um, how, would, how would this actually look on the screen, the, the Snow solution for the customer? Well, for the end user, it would be transparent, of course. The end user wouldn't notice that the organization is trying to optimize this. Okay. Um, uh, but the, the, the important part here is that you're, as an, as a SAM administrator or license administrator for the organization, in Snow, you're able to see the utilization of these bundles, uh, actually all the products that you subscribe to, and also optimize that or ensuring that you optimize that in a correct way. Cool. Um, if can you, you want to, we can have a look. That looks? Of course. Give me a second. I'll share my screen. So, Neil, can you see my screen now? Yes, I can. Perfect. So, within Snow, you can get access to the Adobe Creative Cloud Optimizer. And within this module, you can get easily get an overview of your current Adobe situation within your organization. The information that you see here on the screen, it's a combination of information that we fetch from the Adobe Enterprise Dashboard API in combination with usage information that we get uh, with use of our agents or a third-party data source. So essentially you see, first you get an overview of how many products you have um, provisioned or assigned to users in your uh, organization. And in this case, we see that the most of our assignment lies under Adobe Acrobat Pro. We also have a lot of Photoshop, uh, Acrobat Standard, and the OLAP suite, which is the more, most expensive. This view gives me the license summary. I can also get a view that shows where we have the most costs allocated to these different subscriptions. So uh, the Acrobat Pro is still the most where we pay the most money, but um, the OLAP suite has a quite uh, extensive cost attached to it as well. Martin, what do you mean by optimization and how does Snow deal with that? So essentially, most organizations that I meet with, they want to ensure that this gray part here is non-existent. Basically, the unassigned licenses, that the licenses okay. that they're paying for, but they haven't even assigned to any user, um, those should just be retired. We don't want to have those. We don't want to pay for those licenses. Right. The second part is the red part, the unused licenses. So essentially, the licenses that are allocated to a user, but that are not in use or haven't been in use for either 30, 60, or 90 days, depending on the configuration. Okay, well, I guess I better be using more of the, the subscriptions <laughs> I have. <laughs> I, think that, I think that you're an efficient user, so I think that mm -hmm. you justify having the OLAP suite. But essentially, this comes down to, um, are the users utilizing enough of the applications within the suite? And you also get a war warning or an insight about that here, a little further down on the screen. So we have 78 users that have the OLAP license, but they're only using one or two of the individual applications, and we are only counting then the expensive ones. So we're not counting the Acrobat application when right. we talk about users. Right. Um, we also have licenses that are assigned, but haven't been used, and that uh, is equivalent of a potential optimization of almost 10,000 euros per month. Um, we also okay. have Sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. If you were an IT um, asset manager and were kind of the super user of, of the Snow solution we see on the screen, 
how, which which of these numbers? I mean, obviously red jumps out to me, but how would you know? You know, it's Monday morning. You come in, you have a cup of coffee, you go into snow, and you 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 say to yourself, "Hey, I want I want to see my Adobe optimization view." What, what I, I'm a beginner, Martin, but but you yeah. aren't. How how would you um, uh, see the screen and say, "Oh, I I I, I better do something." I would say that that the gray part is what you would work with uh, the the soonest. Yeah. So essentially, retiring those licenses that are not assigned at all. That right. that would be my my primary focus. Okay. And this is a continuous process. You need to work with this on a monthly basis. I would say weekly or monthly basis to ensure, uh, depending on how big the estate is, to ensure that you are cost efficient and that you optimize these licenses in the correct way. Super. Uh, there are a few reports in the system that will help you with this. For instance, the report that shows you the users that have all apps licenses. So, Neil, if I wanted to see that you were utilizing your all apps suite to its full extent, then I would view this report to see if there is a potential optimization. In this case, we see in the first row we have Adrian. And Adrian has been using Illustrator and Photoshop, only those two applications. That means that Adrian essentially isn't um, or justifying the cost of the full suite. And the full suite for us is 100 euros per month. And the license cost for these two standalone applications is 50 euros per month. So the potential save here is 50 euros per month. Yeah, but I know Adrian. He says he needs the all apps uh, licenses. That happens all the time. That, and, and there is nothing we can do about that. There will always be users that try to, to um, keep their suites even if they don't use them to the full extent. But this at least gives us information about how it actually looks. Okay, so this is the truth. Yeah, this is the truth. For the last 30, 60, or 90 days, depending on your scope. Or even it could be even longer if you wanted to. Right, okay. So, so that's optimization. Um, do you want to finish up just showing where some other key data is? Yeah, absolutely. There are also other things that organizations that organizations struggle with regarding Adobe. And we can find a, a few of those in the reports here. So in the report section of the Adobe Creative Cloud Optimizer, you see, for instance, unmanaged Adobe Creative Cloud users. And this is something that, well, essentially you have a subscription for your organization or multiple subscriptions. And with this, you can see the users that or identify users that have maybe signed up for a subscription with their own credit card. This is something that, that many organizations struggle with that try to maintain a centralized purchasing. I see. Have you paid for your own subscription or it's no paying for it? Oh no, Snow pays for it. Yeah. So, uh, but, but uh, to ensure that users aren't paying for their own subscriptions, this is a very good way to see that there is deployment that isn't matching up with the data that we get from the Adobe portal. Okay, well that's interesting in terms yeah. of having full insight and manageability. Absolutely. So thanks for the demo, Martin. I, I uh, got some really key views into what an IT asset manager would see with their Snow solution and, and you know how important it is to for them to gain insight and manageability through the different views and reports and whatnot. But you know, for folks watching this, what would you say, Martin, are the one to two key takeaways from everything you said? I would say that uh, organizations in general, they are they have a very big advantage when it comes to Adobe optimization when they use our technology. This uh, this applies both for organizations that have um, uh, user-based licensing like, like we just looked at, but also for organizations that are on a previous agreement with an amendment maybe that are still allowed to use um, license key activated licenses. And um, well, I, I think it would be difficult to manage this in the correct way without our technology. Great. That's, that sounds like a great place to end. I hope to have you back on the show uh, sometime yeah. again real soon. And thanks so much for your time today, Martin. Thanks for having me. Have, have a great day. day. Thanks. You too. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.